500 billion dollars, 400 million kilometers, and 10 months of travel. This is what it takes to send humans to Mars. But how exactly will we make this happen? How will astronauts sleep on the way to Mars? On the way to Mars, astronauts will still use sleeping bags like on the International Space Station, but this time they will be inside small private quarters designed to block out noise and light. With no day-night cycle, the ship runs on a strict artificial schedule, lights dim and brighten to mimic a 24-hour rhythm. Without that, the crew's circadian rhythm will be off, leading to insomnia and fatigue. The circadian rhythm is the pattern your body follows based on an internal 24-hour day. This rhythm tells your body when to sleep and when to wake up. It also affects several other body processes, like your hormones, digestion and body temperature. But sleep in deep space also has higher stakes. On the ISS, you can get by with 6 hours and still rely on mission control for backup. On a Mars ship, Every decision rests on the crew. Where have you been sleeping? Airlock, airlock two. What? Do you understand how crazy that is? If one seal breaks, you die. So poor sleep means slower reaction times, more mistakes and more conflicts. All risks that could be mission ending. Radiation adds another complication. Cosmic rays may disrupt brain function, including sleep quality. And unfortunately, we did not study that as much as we should. So for long trips, researchers are looking at shielding sleep quarters with water or fuel tanks, doubling them as quiet zones for rest. So while sleeping in microgravity may seem simple, zip into a bag and float. On the way to Mars, it's about discipline, careful environment control, and protecting the mind as much as the body. From now on, you sleep in Beck's room. R where am I gonna sleep? With Johansson. Cut it out, Beck. It's a small ship. I know everything. Because in deep space, even sleep becomes a mission critical system. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share your thoughts down below.